Hello, in this video, I am going to be drawing a red bark louse. The photo is by James Revan. It's a really interesting uh, louse. So I could see a lot of things and it seems to be missing one of its uh, antenna. Cause I could see one, but I can't see the other. I think, uh, you know, insects have six legs. So the thing here is we can only see uh, one, two, three. We could see like a part of one. Um, so we see five or one, two, three. You know what, I'm sorry. That may actually just be hair from the carpet. So we really only see uh, three here and one over here. I mean, the other two exist as far as I'm aware. Um, they probably do. I don't think this one has uh, lost them, but they are not visible. So I'll put pilot holes for where I think they're going to be. Um, but yeah, special shout out to oop, James Revan. Sorry, I don't know why <laughs> my program did that. Um, I don't know. It's acting weird. But uh, when I do this, I try to summarize the body initially into a gesture. And when I uh, say gesture, I try to think of straight lines, which we rarely run into with uh, organics, uh, C curves, or like a variation, S curves, or a variation, or var uh, various ellipses of various degrees, or perhaps like some weird shape. So to start off, I'm going to put a ball where we'll, we will eventually add more uh, structure onto for the head. And uh, connected to that is the uh, thorax, which kind of bulges out a little bit. Kind of like that. I'll definitely add some forms on top of that to describe uh, what I'm seeing. And then we have a, then we have the abdomen. And the abdomen is pretty long, but I'll probably add on to it as we go. The abdomen is very, it's more like a, an oval. Kind of like that. So. I'm going to add some uh, contours. Well, you know what I'll do? I'll add, like I want to add some type of line to show how everything's connected. I was thinking of like a line of action, but I'm going to draw some ellipses to show the contours around the form, forms. Great. So now I'm going to draw it up pilot holes for the legs. Insects have uh, six legs, so. And I will draw ellipses on the other side, even though we really can't see the, uh, the, le the other legs besides the front one. Okay. Now I'm going to add some lines to summarize the uh, the line of action of the legs. And it seems like when I'm looking at the legs, there's like, well, there's the initial attachment part and one, two, three, four. I mean, I guess you could always try to break them down more, but I, I'm kind of seeing like three main parts and then some additional uh, structure. And I think that end part should have been a little bit different. Should have been more like that. This leg is uh, very just like, like that, maybe even a bit further out. But I'm trying to compare where the legs are and it probably should go a bit further. Kind of like to there, I would say. Then this leg, it kind of like, it's a bit like an S curve. And it looks a bit further. Maybe that's a bit too far. I think that's a bit too far. Uh, 
Okay, now this other leg, it's a bit hard to see, but I'm going to kind of try to summarize it. I think it should have been out a little bit further. Kind of like that. Okay, so I'm going to jump to the uh, structure layer. Now I want to do that because I think I will eventually go back to the gesture layer to add more uh, gestural things than I'm seeing, but I feel like I need to add some structure onto our bug. So not on the screen, off the screen, I do have uh, some anatomy of the red bark louse pulled up just so I could kind of have an idea of what I'm seeing or not seeing. And I kind of want to add some stuff onto um, this guy. So I want to add this triangular type thing. Well, actually, you know what? I have to think of like how it's relating to the eyes because it wraps around that form kind of like a triangle, but it has like these two depressions for the eyes. And I'll, I'm gonna draw the eyes now, but it like it wraps around the contour of the ball. So maybe if I do that one more time, I'm trying to be aware of the, uh, the contour gap for the eyes. The eyes are very like bulging out I'm trying to fit it within that uh, socket. And on the other side, we can't see the full ball, but I guess I'll try to draw it all. It's kind of like that as it adheres to the skull. Or I'm not really sure if you would call it a skull. So another attachment thing here. Um, the funny thing is now that I'm looking at it, and the anatomy off to the side, I see the attachment for the uh, the antenna. And I need to go back to the gesture layer real quick to draw it. Its antenna is very just straight out. Perhaps I went a bit too far, kind of like that. And now that I, uh, <laughs> I drew on the wrong layer again, But now that I look at it again, I could really tell that this guy uh, lost an antenna based on like the structure. So I will draw the pilot hole. And it all kind of wraps around that uh, initial head thing, the triangular like thing that I was talking about. Perhaps I should have even, you know what? No, I don't want to exaggerate anymore. I'm thinking that maybe I didn't draw it long enough, but. I'm gonna roll with what I have. Um, I think it has two mandibles. I'm not sure they're like, they're little, the little point things over here. Um, when I look at it, they're like on the bottom of the head, but they, they're like, they're like triangles. And there's like two of them and they're like right, they like butt right up against each other as they wrap around the contours of the uh, the head. So now I want to, I want to kind of draw what I'm seeing um, when I, for the initial antenna attachment, they're kind of like these very, very small cylinders for like the initial base before it kind of winds, widens out. And I may have just lost power for a moment. So if this video cuts out, I really hope it doesn't. But if it does, I'm gonna have to splice it together. So the antenna, um, when I look at the antenna, okay, it's so subtle. So the antenna is kind of broken into like, what I'm seeing is like three sections. Um, like I see, like there's a if you look where my mouse cursor is, there's like a little separation point there and a little separation point there. And they're kind of like thin stacking cups. And I'm trying to like put one there. 
one here. And I want to cap off the antenna with that. And <laughs> I'm going to like follow all of that. But the interesting thing is it's kind of like a tapering matched stick. It's very thin. And you know, the funny thing is, uh, now that I look at it, I think I still drew it a little bit too thick compared to the image. But I want to roll with it. <laughs> so an interesting thing here, uh, considering the thorax to the uh, abdomen, I'm seeing some bug armor. I mean, that's what I like to call it. And it's like, how do I put it? I'm going to draw the initial shape because there's like a bit of a shield between the head and thorax. If you could see it right here, it kind of goes like, behind, it's kind of like behind the eye. And luckily, well, oh, you know what? Before I do that, you know what I want to do? I want to draw the legs because I found that whenever I've drawn bugs in the past, I think it's more difficult to draw them uh, after I add like the bug armor onto the guy. Um, so now I want to draw, it's going to be a bit difficult because some of the leg is a bit obscured, but like right near the eye, I can kind of see like a bit of, it's like the sausage shape and it's very, very, uh, very, very subtle as it goes out there. And I'm seeing here, there's, it's like a very thin shape that connects to that shape as it goes and connects to that sausage shape. And then like the last part is like a claw and considering it's a louse, uh, it's probably for hanging on to animal hair or mammal hair. And the ending part is uh, interesting because it's, it's kind of like a bit triangular, kind of tapers a bit as it connects. Or you know what, I think I should have made it go out the other direction. kind of like that. Then it has uh, two hooks for staying on mammals. So now I'm going to do the front right leg. <coughs> um, the, the interesting thing here is I'm seeing like this initial attachment part that connects to that piece. Perhaps I should have made it a bit thinner. It's a very thin initial cap and then there's kind of like a smaller cap like right uh, right about there that connects to that cap and connects along the contour and then there's like this uh, bean shape if you can see it like right here and the interesting thing is like based on the perspective it's like the end cap kind of looks a bit flat but it's definitely not flat I really like that shape. It's really interesting. Um, so another thing, I didn't see it over here, but now that I think about it, there's probably an extra cap-like shape because the closer I look, I'm seeing like right here, there's like a end cap. I always think of like uh, solo cups. I mean, I, I never, <coughs> I never, I, not, I don't play like any of those games with uh, solo cups, but if you, if you don't know what a solo cup is, it's uh it's like a thin cup for like picnics and stuff and i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get comments that like people are thinking you do other stuff with those solo cups but uh you know i i guess it's popular at colleges as well and they're, they're kind of like that and you could like stack them and they always have like these like ridges on on them i'm guessing it's for grip as a uh, condensation gets on them but you can kind of stack them and if you ever have seen a stack of them they kind of like all well they stack really conveniently but yeah there's my <laughs> there's my awful solo cup and i think the kind of the ridging kind of bulges out on solo cups a bit but i'm getting off topic there and i want to draw this leg which kind of has a bit of a square cat base on the perspective as it connects to that leg and I just want to say, um, don't think, don't, you don't always have to execute an entire shape in one go. 
you should do what makes sense to you like what is the most convenient way for you to draw i mean you're welcome to push yourself the other thing is there's an end cap right here it's like a little thin intermediary section before it goes and then there's like um it's like a bit of like a triangular like thing then you have like the two claws at the end so let's do this leg we're getting some interesting perspectives on this leg. Now we can only see a very small bit of that initial uh, connection bean part. It, it's a bit obscured by the leg. And then it kind of like goes right here. I'm, I'm taking advantage of like small ellipses. And then I'm gonna draw a little bit of a larger one about, uh, it should be a bit larger. Cause it's, it's very ball-like. It kind of subtly dips in and bulges out a little bit and it kind of follows the same thing on the other side. Then about this much of the way, it kind of like connects to that. It's very subtle. I keep thinking of like a, a femur. Um, if you like, if you look at the anatomy of like your people and they have a femur and that's kind of what, that's kind of like the shape that I'm seeing here <laughs> when I think about it. Then you have this uh, little interesting shape. It's very, it looks very bean-like. And the other thing is I'm seeing two things here. I'm not really sure what they are, but they are significant enough that I will draw them. They're like little triangular like spike things. I'm not sure if it's to help the insect have um, gripping strength. And then we have like this triangular like thing. It's very thin. Then you have the uh, two claws for gripping hair, I, I could assume. So at this point, I want to draw the back leg, which is right here. It's really interesting because I can kind of see a bit of the sausage shape. It's kind of like that, I believe. And we can't see too much of the other uh, connection of that like initial bean shape. We can see like a part of it. It's very subtle. Because I know there's got to be those uh, two parts. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. On this leg, I don't know how I missed it out. But there was like a little bit of a connection point as it connects. Really sorry for missing that. I'm, I'm a bit at the end of my, <laughs> my um, awake hours. So I'm going to go back to the behind leg and connect the bean shape. It's kind of like that as it wraps around the initial bean pilot hole. Then we have the square-like thing, very matchstick-like as it wraps around that leg. Connects to that. Um, I'm going to kind of have to infer based on the other two legs. Like, right, like, I, I'm going to say it's probably like a shape kind of like that. And I don't like to infer, but I'll go with it. Then we have the uh, end cap, which is like a thin triangular like thing. Then we have that. Um, at this point, I am going to draw this shell along the thorax. It bulges out quite a bit. And I'm trying to like make sense of a lot of what I'm looking at because I'm, I'm seeing so much stuff. Like I'm seeing that and it kind of covers a little bit of the abdomen. It's kind of like a little bit of a protective layer as it goes. And I also wanted to draw the end. Like there's like a bit of a sharp point at the end. I'm pretty sure that's just the end of its uh, shell or perhaps it could be related to uh, waste removal or something like that or reproduction you get the idea um, so I'm trying to think and I'm trying to think if the if the shell like when I look closer it kind of does have some contours to it the other thing is I wanted to draw uh, how like there's like this connection part right here that kind of helps glue the uh, 
abdomen or it doesn't glue it more covers the uh it covers the intermediate intermediary area between the thorax and abdomen to protect the bug now i want to draw the inter intermediate era area between the, uh, the thorax and the head and i'm seeing a lot of interesting stuff here it's kind of even hard to make out what's the head and what's the pattern another thing i'm seeing here is like this additional it's like a bit of a hump as it connects to the ball and it's kind of like that as it connects to the contour of the head then i'm seeing this really interesting shape there's like a bunch of stuff going on with our louse guy and i'm really trying hard to make a sense of it sense of it So, I can kind of see through the wings, and the wings are obscuring, they're obscuring it just a little bit, but I am seeing these, uh, this banding as it goes about, and it's kind of like, it's very, it's so subtle, but I know I see it in a couple places. draw one and these two are a bit close together and I think I kind of see one near the end kind of tapers out a bit and now I want to connect these this banding let me think of it yeah there, there's like a connection kind of bulges out and I want to say it also bulges out oops I shouldn't have done that near the end and I think the end is a little bit sharper than I anticipated kind of like that I believe so at this point I want to draw two pilot holes for the wings and when I think of the wings, like, they're, they're very, I feel like the pilot holes, I always draw big ellipses for them, but I think they're a bit uh, thinner. Like, the pilot holes are much thinner. And I am going to uh, think of it in a gesture way, because it's interesting. Kind of like, uh, partially wraps around the contour of the... Uh, thorax so I'll show you what I mean and I think I should have even made it more pointy as it comes back around to wrap around that back shell of our bark louse red bark louse and the interesting thing here is we really can't see the other uh, wing all the way, but we could see a portion of it, and it kind of gives this uh, illusion of that one wing looking a bit larger. And let me do that one more time, because it's a bit uh, tucked behind that other wing, as far as I can tell. And there's kind of like a bulge out area over here. But yeah, it's kind of like that. And now looking deeper into it, I guess with a really thin line, I'll try to draw some of the uh, some of the structure that makes up the wing. Although it's very it's a bit difficult because it's not really uh, focused on so much. I mean, this is a really good picture, but I'm going to try to make some reference points. I see it about here. I'm seeing a strong one, and you know, I think the thing is, I'm representing them with thin lines, but Perhaps you may want to use uh, two lines if you want to do that, because I could see that some of the uh, veins of our wings are a bit thicker than like just a single line. I mean, you could always use uh, thicker lines, but I'll leave that as an exercise up to you. It's kind of, you know, the more I draw them, uh, draw these wings, I keep thinking of like, they're kind of like recursive. It's like you see the big wings, then they branch to 
smaller wings and they ate smaller wings. So actually I'm thinking fractals, <laughs> not wings. Cause like, I think fractals, like if you know what a fractal pattern is, it's kind of like a pattern that repeats infinitely, I believe, don't quote me on that. But yeah, it's actually, it's gotten really therapeutic. I kind of have a hard time getting into a therapeutic state when uh, when I talk and draw at the same time, but I seem to have achieved that a bit. Um, I don't know how, because I'm exhausted. Maybe it is the exhaustion. But yeah, like I said, you just the more you look at it, the more you're seeing these uh, wings. And the other thing I'm thinking is like when I drew the initial wing pattern, um, I drew it as a single line, <coughs> but when I look closer at it, there's kind of like a bit of a, it's kind of like a double line. Like it's not just a single line. It's like really a thicker line. I think I drew it a little bit too thick, but it's kind of like that. And I think it's kind of hard to uh, focus on it, but if you see the, sh the the thorax where the wings are attached, they kind of like go over the contour and then shoot up. Like, I'm sorry, it's a bit hard. Maybe I'll draw it off to the side to kind of show you because um, at this point our louse is mostly complete. I mean, I think complete, but it's kind of like this, right? You have the ball thorax and the wings are attached um, kind of like that and like that and uh, kind of like that and like that like that's kind of what I'm seeing this type of shape that goes up much further kind of like that and that was just the one side the other side is a bit obscured because we can't see all of that wing but yeah, that's what I'm seeing. And I realized I think that last line is a bit too thick because it's kind of more like, like that. But yeah, thanks for sticking with me throughout this uh, video. Uh, if you like my channel, please subscribe. If you have a question, please ask in the comments. I will be sure to probably draw more of these dudes. And uh, I, I actually I had fun doing this. But yeah, like I said, if you have a question, uh, please ask away. Perhaps I should have made the the right eye a bit more bulbous. Maybe it wasn't bulbing out enough. And I'm also seeing kind of a bit of that triangle shape kind of cover it a bit more than I anticipated. So maybe I drew more than was actually uh, visible. But yeah, <laughs> thanks for watching. You have a great evening, day, morning, whatever it is, wherever you are. Bye.